Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and today I want to show you guys a quick technique in Lightroom how to run an automated image synchronization process in the developer mode which you'll see right down here. You normally notice that sync button already. Today I want to show you guys how to edit one image, run 10 other images or select 10 other images and run that auto sync button as well. Now that means that you will run the same process that you did on this image, you will run that process on all images. But normally when you do that, it synchronizes all these images with the same settings as your first one. And sometimes it happens to be that you want to change the last one with some different settings or go back a few steps in the history panel. But you can't because you hit the sync button and everything synced the same way as the first one. So if you want to change that, you will have to go back to the first one, select that one, go back in the history panel and change it again so that this one in order will be a different or will look like a reset or actually reset it again to normal. Now you can overcome that sync process via doing a small other step and that's what I want to show you guys today in the tutorial so keep on watching and let's get going. Alright so let's get started. The first thing you'll have to do is go to the developer stage here at the top and select your image you want to work on. So say for instance now I'm going to work on the first image. So normally you go all the way and do your normal post-production. Say for instance I'm going to do a little bit full light. I want to ch change that a bit cooler. My white balance. I want to make the blacks a bit down or turn it a little bit up a little bit. But I also want to brighten up this white spots down here. So I'm going to push the fill light a little bit which will be too hard already. Okay, and I'm going to go down a little bit more, maybe in tone and curves, change my shadows a little bit down, and a little bit more, okay, make this just a bit smaller. Details, I want to do some sharpening and some radius down, a little bit more sharpening, noise reduction a little bit. Okay, leave that to that. And maybe do something really crazy on here, just the color a little bit, the reds, desaturate the reds a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, so say for instance this is my normal retouch that I did on this image and I want to sync this retouch now with 10 other images. So what I'll do is I'll hold shift or control on a Windows PC and select these images, another 10 images. Say for instance, um, I'm going to select 9, 10 images. Alright, so we've selected these 10 images now and we want to run the same post-production that we did on the first image on these other images as well. Say for instance you shot a broom or a bride getting dressed somewhere and you have the scene and it looks the same, the lightning is the same, everything is the same, you can do one edit and run them all through one quick sync clip process. So what you have to do is select the first one and these nine other ones and now you can hit sync here on the side and when you hit, when you hit sync that means that all of these other images that you have selected will be changed to the same post-production as the first one. So I'm going to do that now, but we will have a problem with that. So I'm going to do that now, I'm going to say sync, and when I hit sync it's going to ask me obviously if the synchronization settings, that all the adjustments that we did on the right hand side here, if I want to overtake them, I'm going to say yes, synchronize with all these settings. Now Lightroom is running and directly you notice these small icons. This means that all of these images have been edited or have been edited to the specific look that you chosen in the first one. And now, say for instance you are happy with all these images, you are ready to export them. But you notice on some images that, say for instance these are nice and bright over here and you like that, but the first ones do have a harsh shadow underneath the cheek. Or like the first one, they don't look so nice at all. So you want to afterwards change that again. So I'm going to select the second one and I want to change that down here. So I'll go over to my history panel and in the history panel I can't. It just shows me synchronization settings and resetting settings and that was a pre-edit I did before. So normally it would should actually show you all the settings that we did just now on them. Yes, and that's the same problem with this one and with this one and with this one with all the images you have selected. Just not with the first one. If I'll go back to the first one, there you'll directly notice it that it has way more history levels and in here you can go back each step that we did. But why can't we go back on these ones? 
that's quite annoying so I want to show you a technique how to get rid of this how to do a synchronization but also have all of these images afterwards you are still able to individually change them again or go back in the history status and it's very simple you just have to tap one small s uh, switch and then you're actually good to go so I'm going to select all of these again and I'm going to set reset over here so I'm going to reset them to pretty much the normal mode again hopefully it works select them again say reset again okay I'm going to reset them just individually select that one and the next one another one another one and this one okay so I've selected these images or reset them so I'm going to select them all again and now it's all together. I'm going to do a quick post-production on them all together. But before I start, this is very important now. You have to switch the small switch over here. Tap this small switch that it doesn't say sync. Tap it now and it says auto sync. And that's all you have to do. Just tap that small switch and it says auto sync. Select your images. I'm quickly going to do a rough retouch on here again. Say for instance, we're going to say totally to blue. I'm going to say recovery totally up. Blacks. I'm going to go really wild on this one just to show you guys it really works turn my saturations down maybe the tone and curves push up the highlights and yeah I've got this quite weird looking picture now and now what I'm gonna do is hit auto sync hit auto sync okay it sync get back it went back already so while you have the switch switch on it directly changes all of the images already so also you notice down here all these icons so it has been changed but now did it really work am I able to go back in the history status and change them individually down here history channel yes I am I'm gonna choose another one and over here yes I'm also able so this helps me quite a lot to obviously edit one image run the preset on all of my images sync that but still be able to individually change my stuff via the history channel or if I want to go back or change some images individually so I hope this small quick video tutorial helped you guys and helped you understanding the sync process a bit and helped you to get around that problem thanks for watching my name is Manny and I hope to see you on another next technical Wednesday rundown here on the Kiki and Manny photography blog thank you for watching bye bye